Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Jugal TM, and I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. And today's topic of pick a card reading is all about what's the tea on you? What's going on in your life? What's coming? What's leaving? All that stuff about you. What's the tea on you? What's the gossip about you? And what are you attracting? What are you manifesting? This is all about you, my viewer, watching this video, okay? So keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading with me if you're interested in a personal reading. So contact me on my email address and Instagram link. This is the two authentic ways that you can reach out to me. Be careful uh, from the scammers and fake people. Reach out to me. These two authentic ways. Like, share and subscribe this channel. Hit the notification bell if you resonate what I'm doing and if you love what I'm doing. And uh, another thing I want to talk about. As I always say, these are the general readings and energies I'm picking up. So on my channel, this is a motto here is that leave it or take it. Take it or leave it. So if something is resonating, it's okay. It's a general reading. But if it's not, then let it fly. Maybe this message is not for you. It's okay. Um, maybe you're not attracting. You're not in this energy. You're not manifesting this. It's okay. I understand still. But you need. You should also understand that this is a general reading. Right? So uh, you have a three groups in front of you with this beautiful, huge big ass star on it so choose intuitively pink star one two silver three is a green so i'm going to meet you on your reading let's start the reading like what's the tea on you hey group number one if you choose this beautiful shining pink star let's figure it out together what's the tea on you what's the gossip about you and what's happening with you and all that stuff let's see so we have the two of wands here so you could be waiting for something. Let's be honest here. You could be waiting for something or someone to reach out to you. Or you could be juggling right now between two situations or thing like what should I do? What should I do next? Okay. You could be in the process of making up your mind, making up your decision, making your decision about something. Okay. Or maybe this is someone who is thinking about you. Like they should reach out to you or not. This could be someone who ghosted you maybe for some of you. For some of you, this is a family person. Like they're hesitant to approach you or not. Like they feel like they don't know if you're going, what, what are you going to do next? You know, like they don't know if you, if you, how you're going to react. This could be someone who is a foreigner or live in a different country abroad thinking about you. Or maybe your homeland, I'm hearing. This person could be from that place. Okay, now we have a Ten of Cups, definitely someone who you have a family with, your family member thinking about you to reach out to you, or someone that you had a family at some point. This person want to reach out to you, but this could be someone who ghosted you. We have the Fool, and we have the Three of Swords energy here. Yeah, definitely. This is someone you're not in a contact with. It's been a long time that you talked to this person. Seven of Pentacles, this could be someone with the... Prince of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. It's been a long time that you were waiting for this person, waiting for this person offer. For some of you, this person took money from you and you're waiting for this person, like when they're going to return your all money. You know, um, I'm getting Aquarius, Aries and Sagittarius vibe. This person could own the dog, especially black dog. I'm hearing, I'm seeing. Um, this could be someone... You wanting to have a family, but it, it did not happen for some reason. This could be someone who is in a third party right now. Okay. So now let's see. What's the key on you? For some of you, this person wants to reconcile with you. It's been a long time. You did not talk to this person. This could be a family member too. Like wanting to talk to you. Wanting to... Yeah, we have a despair, despair. Yeah, definitely. This is someone who is in a deep despair right now. They definitely want to talk to you. They're desperate to talk to you. They're heartbroken. What happened between you and this person? You could have a family with this person or children or babies with this person. We have wedding and doctor. Yeah, okay. This could be someone that you, you married to. This pair, this person definitely, you definitely have some type of a difficult marriage or situation with this person. Or maybe some of you, you met this person on a marriage. And this is that person. We also have a doctor. This person could be a doctor. Or it could be your doctor, okay? 
like you used to go to this person for therapy or some medicine or treatment. But, but with this doctor here, I'm also seeing this person want to heal this situation with you, whoever this person is. This is someone, someone who definitely you got married with, ex-husband or wife, or you, you plan to get married with this person, but they run away from it, or they broke your heart or somehow they got disappeared. But they are in despair here, size, yeah. This is someone that you have been waiting for a long time, your ships to come in. This could be someone that you're expecting, size, yeah. Things did not go well with this person though. I'm also hearing this could be someone who want to marry you because they maybe see the, with the two of wands, they're seeing getting married to you in the future. But there could be a third party here or this could be uh, like no contact situation here right now. Or if you're a doctor, you're definitely focusing on your future you are taking yourself right now. You're, you, don't, you don't have any baggage. This person definitely know that you're leaving them behind. Or you left them behind. You don't care about them. But they still think about you. Okay, so let's see what's the tea on you. We have raised your vibration. This is you. You're raising your vibration. You're moving on. Cut the cards. For some of you, if you are stuck on this situation, universe is saying you need to cut the cards with this person. And raise your vibration. Move on. Because you're holding on to someone maybe is already married. They could be in a third party and they can't. They can't give you whatever you are expecting. If you're waiting like this person is going to release third party, it's not possible maybe. It's like maybe you're making yourself fool. We have calling your soulmate in. So a lot of you, you're calling your true soulmate in. Because you know that you deserve love. You could be Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. You could be my viewer, okay? Air sign or you could be a fire, water sign. Yeah, a lot of you, you're definitely calling your true soulmate in because you know you deserve love. You could be manifesting someone that you can marry. Some of you wanting to be a doctor. Are you dealing with someone who's a doctor? Yeah, soulmate, I told you. Some of you, you're, you're attracting and manifesting your true soulmate, your mar marriage soulmate. We also have unrequited love. For some of you, this could be someone who's coming back to you reconciliation they want you back maybe you were married to this person things did not go well and things were unrequited between you and this person but now they want you back or uh, this could be talking about someone coming and returning to you because things were not this was i'm hearing um if this is your soulmate definitely it's the right person on the wrong timing i'm hearing they know that you're, you're raising your vibration, you left them behind, you don't care, but they're watching you. They ghosted you maybe for some of you. Now let's see what's the tea on you from this Oracle's card. Let's see. Okay, we have a start a family. Number 19 is important. For some of you, you could be ready to start a family. You're ready to marry or this person. This is a tea. This person is coming to marry you maybe. They want to start a family with you. If they were running away from family, now they are not anymore. For some of you, this is someone that you started a family with. Yeah, so just take what resonates. We have a superficial bond, number 10, another 10 here. So some of you, this person is in a marriage, but they're not happy because it's definitely a superficial relationship. They're just keeping it for the family or children, but they want to be with you, despair to be with you because you are their soulmate. So they may be coming to you for reconciliation, but it's up to you. We have romance blooming, number seven important here i'm hearing this person is reaching out to you within seven or ten days or weeks yeah there's a definitely romantic cycle starting here i don't know with the new person or someone coming we have a breakup number six yeah so this could be someone that you had a breakup with wanting to come back to you or you need to break up with someone in order to be start a new journey here so you may be right now in a breakup with someone Okay, you're moving forward. One more, please. One more, one more. What's the tea on you? We have a feeling pressured, number three. This could be someone who is feeling pressured to approach you if this is a breakup happen or separation. Yeah, this could be a family member too, like someone who is feeling pressured to approach you, asking for help. If you have, mar if you have someone's like marriage in your family, like your friends, like your, your, your sibling, so maybe your, your family 
is, is, is hesitant to approach you, asking for money, I'm hearing. With this feeling pressure, this is someone who's feeling pressure to contact you. But they will do eventually. Okay? This is someone who's definitely feeling pressure to, to contact you. Now let me see at the end, what's the tea on you? And I'm done your reading from this fortune cards. Let's see, what's the tea on you? I saw the card here. So we have the Stiffnix. Choose your words carefully. Okay, so universe is saying whoever this person is approaching you, you need to choose your words carefully with this person. It can hurt them. Or this person already break your heart and now they're wanting to come and want to say sorry. This could be a sibling, your family member, someone who is your ex, your friend, someone that you had a breakup with. Yeah, choose your words wisely. Like, don't say it. Like, don't fight with this person. Let them speak. And you should listen to them, what they want to say to you. Listen, I'm, I'm hearing Spirit is saying, listen to their side of story. Otherwise, what you need to do, it's up to you. You have the stars. A long journey brings rewards. So, yeah. So, some of you, you are becoming star. People are talking about you, gossiping about you. Yeah, you become a star. You, you're very popular right now. You could have a platform. People are talking about there. Yeah, if you have a platform, be careful, choose wisely because they're definitely wanting to get out from you. Like they want to see you angry or frustrated so they can talk about shit about you. So be careful. We also have a star energy, so it's like a wish coming true. So some of you, this is someone that you have been wishing for or whatever you have been wishing for. It's a long journey. Finally, you're overcoming through that. The star is also healing hope for tomorrow, for future. Planting the seed, having the vision. The next is the air. Seek a union of mind and spirit. So you could be an air sign, especially Aquarius or this person. But I'm seeing this is from you. Maybe you're Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially Aquarius here. So yeah, air. So you're definitely being logical here. And you need to be logical here in this situation, whatever it is. Don't be emotional, they're saying. And choose your words carefully. Air. It's also talk about detachment here. For some of you, this is someone that you guys are detached from. Or this is you, you're detaching from everything and being hopeful and positive about yourself, about your future. Because you're raising your vibration. You're above them. Whoever these people are, you're above them. Okay? So that's your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all. Hey, group number two, if you choose this beautiful silver star, let's figure it out together. What's the tea on you? What's happening next and leaving next? Six of cups. Oh, reminiscing the past. Someone is missing you. I'm hearing when I saw this card. Someone is missing you. Could be your childhood friend, your friend, past friend. This is definitely a past energy here. This could be your soulmate. You know this person from childhood, your lover, your crush from the past. I'm also seeing clouds here. So there's definitely some misunderstandings between you and this person. This person is confused. This person is missing you or this could be your energy. You're missing this person. This could be someone that you had a babies with or you could be, you could have a family. For some of you, I'm hearing your friends, your siblings, they could be missing you because you're far from them. But this could be um, your childhood friend or past lover, your soulmate, six of cups. It's definitely a past energy here. We have an ace of cups. Yeah, there's a lot of emotions here. We have the chariot. One more. What's the tea on group number two? Spirit. What's the tea on you? Okay, we have an eight of pentacles. And we have the nine of cups. Prince of pentacles. So this could be someone that it's been a long time. They took a lot of longer, long time to approach you or to come towards you. But now they're rushing up, I'm hearing, with the chariot here. They're just moving forward. So I'm getting a lot of water here, obviously. You both could be water sign or you could be have a strong water in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, especially Cancer here. We also have an Eight of Pentacles, so it's the Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. I'm feeling a lot of you, you're working on your happiness, your goals, your dreams. You're definitely fulfilling your dreams and goals. You're also going to be happy with your um, achievement, with your success. You're overcoming through adversity, I'm hearing. 
with this chariot here you're overcoming through any challenge you're definitely balancing your life right now this is your energy but someone is missing you there out there far from you this is that you this is not your energy this is someone who's missing you from the past you maybe move on from this person you move out from that place maybe with the chariot energy there could be a distance here uh you maybe worked with this person are used to work with this person this was your good friend or colleague too for some of you or this was someone that who was your lover they're missing you this is someone who wants to work with you wants to date you wants to maybe go out with you have fun with you they're missing that time that you spend with each other happy time memories ace of cups for some of you this is someone who loves you romantic romantically involved here emotions involved here this is someone who is in, fallen in love with you or in love with you still and this is from the past person this could be someone that you moved on but they do not they they can't let you go they want still working on this i'm also hearing this person maybe moved into a different place because of their work but they're missing you there because you are this person wish fulfillment i'm getting nine of cups and ace of cups look at this all emotions and cups and love and romance but this could be love, self love too like you're focusing on yourself self love self care nurturing yourself overcoming through any challenge you're being happy and satisfied in your life but someone is missing you they're not happy without you i'm hearing so let's see what's the tea on you from this oracles what's the tea on you this could be someone who's approaching you maybe they're going to travel to see you we have a doctor so they could be a doctor or you could be we have a wedding this came up in the previous two so i think i should change it spirit is saying i want to i feel like it's not for you because this came up and if this came up again so it's what it's for you but some of you this could be someone who's a doctor already married okay so we have an enemy with door oh yeah and we have a house friend i told you this is someone who's your friend could be in a prison this person could be in a prison who's your friend who is in a prison and missing you thinking about you maybe you did not go to them you did not um visit them or they can't visit you because they are all in their prison and thoughts about you this could be someone who is a widow yeah they lost their wife or husband or this could be you this could be your widow or friend girl or guy we also have enemy so there is definitely the t on you is definitely this could be your enemy who is a widow okay yeah your enemies they want to see that they're keeping an eye on you what are you doing what are you up to but you don't care you're doing your own work they may be jealous about like how you can i'm also hearing this could be a friend become your enemy and you know that who i'm talking about this is that person they're not happy that you are overcoming through all challenge you have everything in your life like you have a house you have a money you have a finances you're happy you're happy with your children and they're not happy because their life is miserable look at this in the prison and then they're not their enemy like they're thinking about it they're chained they're bounded they feel like they they're comparing their life with you if this is a friend yeah this is definitely a friend i think i should take it uh so this could be someone who is a widow like they lost their someone in their house it's like their wife or husband and they're missing you this friend they want to be with you they really need a time right now they want to see you at the house they want to meet you at a house this could be someone who has a good house like they have a good enough money like they have a big house with this house here they have a big house they're rich and wealthy but or this could be a person who is jealous because you have a house you bought a house you have a big house and they don't have and they're just on the street and they don't have this enough money so they're definitely jealous because of your success this could be someone that near near live to near your house and you know them because we have the friend obviously your friend is missing you six of cups definitely someone missing you from a past your friend but this could be friends turned 
into enemy two I'm getting for this pile. Okay? They're missing you. They're, they're thinking about you. They want to know that what's going on in your life because you're far away from them. Love yourself first. Yeah, definitely. You're choosing yourself first. Glowing up with self-love and choosing yourself first. For some of you, you want to buy your house. We have romantic feelings. Yeah, this could be a romantic person thinking about you. And they're coming, approaching you because we have a black and white. So they see maybe you're a soulmate. This could be someone that you are in love with, your friend you are in love with, uh, a video that you are in love with. You may be same living together in the same house. You shared the house together. Yeah, release your ex. So a lot of you, you are releasing your ex right now and you're ready for new love, to enter in a new love. You release this person behind. You definitely left them back. This could be your ex-lover thinking about you. We have healing family issues. We have a house and family issues. Either it, this person is going through right now family issues or you have family issues with this person. This could be your ex-husband or wife too thinking about you. Um, this person could be releasing their partner right now. They could be married with Dora. I told you they're trying to release and heal from the past and they're falling in love. They're feeling love for you. This is a brand new love or rekindle love from someone from the past. If they ignored you, they're coming back. Yeah, this is someone who could be in another commitment. Or you could be in another commitment and they definitely don't like it. If this is someone from the past that you released and you moved on, they're thinking about you or you could have a babies with this person. But some of you, this is someone who wants to marry you. They, they definitely see the future with you and they're coming with this new love and engagement. I feel like new love is here. There's a new love here entering in your life. You know it or not. Let's see what's the tea on you. There's definitely someone new here coming or entering in your life. If you don't have enemy, maybe this person has enemies, okay? Keeping an eye on this person. We have a self-acceptance. Yeah, this is you. You are definitely loving yourself. You're all about yourself. Your ass is glowing up, shining up. Love yourself first, self-acceptance, ace of cup. This is all about you. Vulnerability and freedom. You could be an Aquarius or you are becoming a star of your own life. You're, you're healing yourself. You're doing your stuff. Now let's see what's the thing on you. You're definitely accepting yourself. You're healing your trauma maybe. You're releasing the past people and these, these grudges that you have. from. You're definitely moving on from this shit. But these people are not. Now, let's see. What's the tea on you? Group number two. Yeah, we have a runner. This is someone who is a runner. <laughs> and this could be you. You're running away from this person, this drama, this situation. We have a comparing options. 11 number is important here or 14. Yeah, this person could have a lot of options and they're comparing it and they're choosing you. Or this could be you. You have a lot of options in front of you right now. You, you have a lot of stuff going on in your life. You got to choose who you want to be with. Maybe someone coming from the past. And there is also a new love here. We have make the first move. So maybe this is about you. You need to make the first move here. Toward this person. Or they are about to make a first move here. I don't know. But I feel like this is about you. Coming to an end. Number two. So some of you, you're dealing a, you're, you could be coming on end of with someone contract with and this could be relationship that coming to an end you're over you're done and they could be releasing someone but i feel like this is about you because it's all about you so you're releasing someone from your life you definitely already decided you're moving away from this person we have a smothering into messy issue here so this person definitely did not see your value they were runner Okay, they were running runner from this connection. Now let's see what these fortune cards talk about it for group number two. What's the tea on you? Let's see. We have already three cards. We have the dragon, strength, and wisdom. This is you. You definitely learn from this situation. You're definitely coming onto cycle or end with someone. You're releasing someone from your life. For some of you, this could be your past husband or wife, like someone who is a diseased one. The past, 
they are missing you, thinking about you, watching you from above and giving you the strength and wisdom. A lot of you, you're definitely becoming more strong, independent. You're definitely choosing yourself. With this dragon, you could be born into a dragon year or the person who's entering in your life. They could be born into a dragon or horse year. We have the chalice, rejuvenation and fulfillment. Yeah, this is you. Ace of Cups, look, the chalice. Fulfillment of wishes, desires, being happy and satisfied. Whatever you want, it's coming. The Ace of Cups, it's gonna, it could be a new love, but you're filling your cup first. This is a tea on you. We also have the maiden, a new relationship blossom. What I told you, a new relationship blossom with this rose here. There is definitely a new love here. This reading is all about new love. And Ace of Cups is Ace of Cup, Cup. This is a new love, new, new romance. Someone is falling in love with you or already in love with you, but they could be going through some situation here. And they're coming. We also have the king, authority and diplomacy. Okay, so this could be you. You're taking control of your life. Yeah, with the chariot too, you're overcoming through challenge. You're definitely going to make, a, make up your mind. It's a very important life-changing decision for you that you're taking. And this could be you're choosing your direction, what you want to do, where you want to focus your energy, your money, your, your financial thing. Or this could be someone, perhaps this is someone who is a king. They could be a boss, a leader. Or someone who's very authority figure. They are, they are well grounded. They have money. They have everything. And they're coming to you because they like you. You could have a black and white couple. Someone has a golden hair or blonde hair. Someone has a white skin and dark skin. Definitely different from each other. This is someone who maybe start as a friend with you and then wanting to maybe you could be getting into a relationship with your friend, period. Self-acceptance here, definitely. Or this person, I'm also hearing this person could be releasing someone from their past and they're choosing you because they're seeing towards you that you are the first, you are this new opportunity here. You're waiting for new love, but this person already may be keeping an eye on you or wanting to be with you, have a crush on you or like you. With this king energy, this is definitely someone who is a father figure or boss or... Uh, emperor type of energy obviously someone who is a good luck and abundant this could be you you are becoming this powerful person successful abundant and people are jealous of you do definitely have enemies who don't like that you're, you're you're you are protected from your angels and guides you have a lot of wisdom and strength in yourself nobody can stop you but these people are not happy someone your enemy okay your friends or people or someone they leave your house. They're not happy. What are you doing? They don't see, they can't bear your success, I'm hearing. This is those people, okay? But there is someone coming to you. This is a new love or rekindle. You know better. You have a choices, comparing options. So you are going to choose who you want to be with. 11. So definitely I'm seeing soulmate or twin flame. 11 is a divine counterpart and we also have two. So you could be closing some cycle with someone and choosing another person. Choice is yours, honey. So this is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, group number three, if you choose this beautiful green star, welcome on your reading. Let's figure it out together. What's the tea on you? What's happening and what's coming? What's leaving? We have a four of pentacles. So you're saving your money and you could be unlocking your... Uh, yeah, you could be saving account, saving money. You could be opening a saving account very soon. We also have the six of wands. It's a victory. It's a success. You're celebrating it. There's some, some type of accomplishment, promotion here. Okay, we have the Prince of Pentacles and we have the Three of Pentacles. Yes, work. So this is all about work here. So you're working hard on your money and finances. You're saving money. You could be investing somewhere. Prince of uh, Swords here, Rebirth here. So a lot of you, you could be um, starting a new job, new business, new activity. That is uh, definitely needed a lot of work here and you are doing that. For some of you, it could be a spirituality business. I don't know what is it's related with it. But this could be a social media platform too that you are starting something. This is all pentacles, so definitely Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy going on here. So a lot of you, this is... Um, what's the tea on you? I feel like people are working your craft with this three of pentacles. You can see that. People are noticing you, wanting to work with you maybe. You could be getting some type of offers too or promotions or collaboration with someone because these people are looking at your work and craft. Our people are just watching your, your work and they want to know the secret of your work and craft and they're definitely wanting to create it too. 
we also have a four of pentacles so maybe there's a definitely um saving money and accounts protecting your money being possessive with your money we also have a six of wands it's a victory it's a success okay i'm so i'm seeing here there could be a promotion here there's a good news coming in your way also i'm hearing there's a good news coming in your way it's a good news okay people are going to see your success they're watching you people are definitely curious how you're doing your work here that's what i'm seeing here we have hope so a lot of you you're hopeful about your future you're hopeful about your career you're planting the seeds you're hopeful for success we have service and we have uh, falseness so you could have a cat you could be a cat lover we also have a waiting so a lot of you are waiting for a good news waiting for your raise of uh, raises of you know like money finances you're also waiting for some promotion here waiting for some, some good news good offer in work or or some type of a, maybe romance i don't know you're hopeful about it and waiting and don't give up hope universe also saying it don't don't give up hope keep waiting your time will come and finally your time is coming i'm hearing we have a service a lot of you this could be related with the service act of service or something that you're doing in the humanitarian work and you could be starting something some of you this could be someone who is in a military army police is coming towards you or this could be you you're going to onto some type of a journey here we have a falseness i feel like there could be some type of a rumors about you people are talking about or spreading it with this falseness here this could be your friends to be honest like they are spreading this false rumors about you or colleague people may be having some type of a false um perception about you because they don't know you because they're watching you from afar so they're definitely making their own assumptions for some of you these people are definitely not happy with your success if you are have some type of a promotion or work here so they're definitely not um happy it look like they're very um it's a wonder eye but at the same time i'm getting like they are yeah they're definitely um bitterness like they don't like it we have love yourself first we also have engagement so there could be a proposal coming because i'm seeing could be a ring someone is going to propose you this is also announcement here with the six of wands official children some of you could be yeah release your ex this could be someone that you had a baby with coming back to you or this could be someone that you know them from childhood your friend lover crush or this person could be releasing someone and coming to you you could be working with the children here any type of a job that related with the job with the with the animals and children i'm seeing that is going to help you and benefit you okay for some of you you could be a married woman or man watching this or you could have children already and this could be someone that you released is thinking about you and maybe spreading some rumors about you your ex yes this could be your ex husband or wife or ex person they are they are spreading some false rumors about you yeah i'm hearing it they're almost blaming you in everything some of you uh, could be uh, someone is keeping an eye on you from your past or are from your work we also have sacred plan yeah i feel like you, destiny is taking you you're protected by the god you also have a sacred plan if you're worried about it like if you're never never going to be in a relationship you're never going to find right person you may be worried about your children if you have it like who is going to marry you or who is going to engage you so the universe has a sacred plan for you i'm getting so you should not worry about it have faith i'm also seeing um you could be working on your um business your job hopeful and waiting out of it so keep doing your work you're definitely going to be successful one day if things are not working right now 
we have a runner so someone could be running from you is coming a runner we have sexually compatible this could be someone that you had a sexual connection with but not romantic it's a friends of benefits connection too with someone number 22 is important it's angel number we have a compromise another two triple two so this could be someone who's your partner divine counterpart or maybe currently you're dating you need to compromise with them because there's something they're stopping that to give you to give you commitment we also have a forgiveness needed someone coming from the past who was a runner but you have a sexual compatibility with this person and there's a compromise needed here so either you need to forgive them or they need to forgive you but there's definitely um yeah you're going to see this person very soon see each other soon you're going to see them or meet up them very soon but this person is feeling nervous whoever this is they're feeling nervous to approach you or contact you or to be with you but I feel, I told you, Six of Wands news is on the way or this person is on the way to approach you. If they have been very slow, so it's mean that they're coming forward now. This is someone that you're expecting and waiting and hopeful for, okay? So this is that person. This could be a brand new person too because it will take time, 11, soulmate. So it will take time to, uh, to you know, for relationship to move forward. Either this person is releasing someone from their life or you could be right now. I'm also seeing that if you are with this person currently dating or being in a relationship with this person, this person could be their ex maybe or the, the children, the wife or husband of their children, you know, their partner, ex-partner or the parent of their children is spreading the rumors about you because I'm seeing falseness here. There's something that is because of their jealousy. They don't like it. Now let's see. We have the key. Look, locked doors can now be open. There is a key here too. It's a lo unlocking here. So you're unlocking your abundance, your business, your career, your opportunities are coming, possibilities. You're unlocking a lot of things. You're unlocking your destiny. I'm hearing. We have the spider. Be meticulous and patient. So yeah, be careful. You can fall into the trap of something because there is a falseness here. There's a rumor I'm seeing here. Don't try to react on that. Be patient with this person or the situation, whatever is going on. Even though with your work, be patient. We have um, the Shimra. Imagination clouds your judgment. Yeah. So I feel like right now things are not clear to you. You don't know that or this person could be hesitant to approach you or they are not clear and sure about you. So things are going to take time to move forward to a next level or if you are starting something then definitely you're just imagining and overthinking a lot just do it be patient think take things will take time success will take time it's not going to happen one night okay so we also have the golem a close friend acts on your behalf okay so definitely a someone is going to help you your close friend will act on your behalf this could be someone who's your friend your colleague are someone who wants to be your friend are near to you they want to help you they want to guide you could be a mentor a guide a guru someone who will you will going to reach out to for them but this is also protection energy like someone is protecting you this could be your guardian angels too like someone is protecting you from the bad and because it's a sacred plan it's a god plan here okay we also have your friends are defending you on your back if someone is f spreading false rumors or things about it your friends is going to help you in this way in this situation difficult situation they're going to defend you or they're going to help you in this situation what is ever is happening here so you definitely have someone has your back this could be your angels your guides um are literally your friend a lover okay is protecting you but don't make false judgment. If someone is approaching you and want to be with you, reconcile forgiveness or want to work with you, don't false make false assumptions and um, judgment. Be patient. Wait for the time. Things will, things will open to you, you know, like step by step, I'm hearing. Okay? So this is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.